Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. And I'm going to give you the latest update on what's going on with this storm system. I'm going to speak a little bit slower because I don't want anyone getting all excited, make a mistake. That's how you get people to make dire mistakes is you get them all ramped up without letting them relax a little bit and digest the information that's coming through. Now, we still have our chances for our tornadoes for today, even our high section, our significant severe chances for EF2 or greater, and that has grown as well. It's all the way from Louisiana into Mississippi into Alabama and a panhandle of Florida. This don't mean you're going to get one. It just means that the atmosphere is primed up for you to get one. Now, this is your setup for today. This is why you have a big tornado risk, not only for the damage of winds that does pick up your lower level winds on the ground are going out to the northwest your lower level winds up above your 850 millibars are going out to the northeast so there's your wind direction change with height as these storms all congeal together today and comes across and you get a lot of line segments in there now you also have the chances for hurricane force winds as well so you got both of those factors in play that's why you have the biggest threat for strong tornadoes for today for this region so i'm gonna go through what you can expect that way you can take it in a little bit of a calm manner now you see as it comes by four this morning all the way to seven o'clock this morning this is where they had the flash flood emergency going on a lot of 80 miles per hour winds damage and hail as well so far zero tornado reports everybody so just because you have the chances for the tornadoes don't mean you're going to get them so we can take the timing of your storms and you can see where your severe weather risk is and as you go through through the morning this is going to come into louisiana it's going to come across new orleans across the lake into the north shore bringing hail cores with those cells as well you can see this all the way to eight o'clock in the morning a lot of hail cores you can even see the bowing out in that as that pushes to the east with the damage and winds as you go all the way to nine o'clock ten o'clock it's still going to be there but now it's going into mississippi real strong bringing some nice hail cores with that as well but now you got to watch for these singular cells these discrete cells that comes off the gulf all along the Gulf Coast states, that's where your chances for your biggest threat for tornadoes is. And you still have a tornado threat for Ohio for today. I will show you. It's not super big, but there is a moment. So once you go from 10 o'clock and on, you can see it does still move over Louisiana again. You still got it over Mississippi. And you still have your slight risk and your marginal going all the way up towards northern Mississippi. A lot of strong storms coming through. Now, your tornado risk, your biggest risk is going to be along the coast of the Gulf states. As this keeps going towards noon, towards 1 o'clock, towards 2 o'clock. And then when you get to 3 o'clock, now it's going out of Louisiana. You're still getting a couple cells going through the North Shore. You're still getting some storms for Texas on the wraparound. But now your severe risk is moving into Alabama. It's going to start moving into Georgia. As you go through 4 o'clock this afternoon, 5 o'clock, still pushing out, still bowing out, still getting some hail cores in there as you go all the way to 7. Once again, y'all got to watch for these discrete cells to pull off the, the gulf and become potentially tornadoes right along the coast. And as you go into this afternoon, it's going to start winging off. You got chances for hail still, mostly for southern Georgia, southern Alabama. Northern would just be potentially damaging winds coming through. Some rain still can cause some power outages. But you see all the way till 10 o'clock tonight, you still got that line of storms. You still got these hail cores coming offshore. And it goes all night long. Look how it goes all the way to midnight, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. You're still getting these storms coming into Georgia, coming into South Carolina. And this goes in for tomorrow. This is where you have that risk. But this is also where it starts weakening down. So as you go through tomorrow morning, you still have some strong storms pushing through, but they're weakening down greatly. Even for Tennessee, all y'all storms are just weakening down as you go through for tomorrow morning. Now you still got this little linear storm pushing through. There's a couple still cells still showing all the way from Macon. Still got storms all through South Carolina. And as you go through for 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning, it's going to come by very quickly. Once you get to 9 and 10 o'clock, it's pretty much out of Georgia, a little bit for southeastern Georgia. But now it's going through to Carolina, South Carolina and North Carolina bringing these storms across as well as it goes further and further down Florida for tomorrow morning all the way down towards noontime. You're still getting some hail cores in there, not a lot, but every now and then you'll still see a hail core that's coming in line of storms for Florida. 12, 1, 
and then they'll start disappearing as you go towards two. But you still got the threat as well up here for Ohio, for Western Pennsylvania, for Kentucky, for Western West Virginia as well. As you go through for tomorrow, this is where it's going to come in. As you go into tomorrow afternoon, as this pushes to the north, you got these little discrete cells that keeps popping up right around 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And you can see they do have some hail cores in those as well. These are the ones that would be a threat for a potential tornado. So just be aware of that it is showing chances for hail and it could easily spin up a supercell. Everyone else, you're just going to endure some rainstorms coming through. It's not going to be a super big event for y'all. You got a lot of rain coming through. It's still going to build up one to two plus inches of rainfall, a lot more flooding. Just because they say you have a chance for a tornado don't mean you will get one. You still got other threats. We still got the damage in winds. We still got a lot of flooding that's coming out of this. Flooding is your number one source of danger all year long. It's not tornadoes. It's not hurricanes. It's flooding. So remember, whenever the streets are blocked because it's flooding, find another way. It's that easy. You also can see the latest update. We didn't have any tornado reports. We had some hail. We had some damage in winds. We had flooding reports with no tornado reports. But it is knocking power out. Remember, when you got a lot of heavy rainfall and you got some winds, that is going to knock trees over. So right now, Texas is at 60,000, Louisiana at 30,000, even Mississippi at 30,000. This is going to continue to carry over. Let's see if we refresh if it's gotten any better. It has gotten a little bit better for Texas, but not much. Altogether, we're looking at 140-something thousand homes without power. Beware, this will get fixed for Texas as this moves to the east, but everyone else, you're going to start losing power as well. Now for today, for your chances for tornadoes, it has grown again. Significant severe is in this black line right here, all this area. So here's the cities and states at risk for the chance for tornadoes for today. And significant severe is that white line on top and that red line on top. Be aware also for the winds. The wind threat is serious also. Significant severe and all is black. Plus you have the highest rating in this pink section right here and you have the 30% in the red. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage of winds for today. And National Weather Service do expect widespread severe thunderstorms are forecast across parts of the central Gulf Coast states. The potential will exist for several tornadoes, a few of which may be strong EF2 plus and widespread damage of winds, some of which may be particularly damaging. Now I want to show you something. When you look at your significant tornado perimeters, the factors in dew points, wind shear, your cape it factors in so many things your chances for your tornadoes do go along the coast you can see also it carries along the coast of mississippi but it weakens your best chance for tornadoes unfortunately is going to be for the west bank for the new orleans area for louisiana for this morning that don't mean you're going to get one now as you go through the day it goes through southern mississippi it goes through southern alabama as you go through later tonight Panhandle, Florida gets a little bit stronger as well, and this does carry even further. As you go to early in the morning, you still got that threat for the Panhandle, Florida going into southern Georgia, but look how it just starts dissipating. And as you go to Thursday morning, you got it for Florida all the way to northern Florida, maybe even over here towards Tampa a little bit. Then those start weakening down. But at the same time, you can see as you go towards 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, you started getting some chances for tornadoes to pass through Ohio. Those are the cells that I did show you. And you can see them here. These cells as they push through. So it's not going to be this group of storms. It's going to be these discrete cells that's going to push through, giving you best chances for tornadoes as that comes through for Ohio. That's why for tomorrow you do have your chances for your tornadoes. Widespread green of 2% and a couple areas of 5% were your best chances for tornadoes. This don't mean there's going to be an outbreak all over this land. That just means there's a lot of discrete singular cells pushing from south to north, and they could spin up really quick, but also go away really quick. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for tomorrow, for Thursday. And National Weather Service says for Thursday, severe thunderstorms with a few tornadoes, scattered damage and winds, and isolated large hail are likely across the upper Ohio Valley vicinity, 
mainly during Thursday afternoon. Scattered damage and winds and a few tornadoes will also be possible across southeast Georgia into central Florida from Thursday morning into the afternoon. Plus, as you go through the day, when you look at your updraft list, you can see your chances for your hail all the way till tomorrow. So you have all this area, you have chances for these storms to come by and bring chances for large hail. It's not along the Gulf. The Gulf, you're going to have your tornado threat. Right above that is going to be the hail threat. So you got the tornado threat, you got the wind threat. This does carry into southern Mississippi as well with the tornado threat all the way to the panel of florida right above this is where you have all of your hail threat and you see it does go through georgia a little bit through south carolina north carolina but those cells going through ohio also can bring some hail with those as well that don't mean you're going to get tornadoes don't freak out it's just a possibility plus your winds your winds still pick up to 40 and 50 miles per hour plus as we go through so you can see it does pick up to 40 and 50 across multiple states all down florida all across the Carolinas, Tennessee and Kentucky, southern Indiana also, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, getting stronger as we go into Thursday, and we can't see that far, so I will update you this afternoon. Make sure you click the bell, showing 50 and possibly 60 miles per hour wind gusts start picking up for the northeast as this system goes up through the Great Lakes. But the flooding is going to continue all the way across two different areas and remember they had that flash flood emergency over here for kirbyville over here for southeastern texas and look at the heavy flooding you got for louisiana mississippi alabama georgia even the panhandle of florida right here even getting some of the carolinas some pretty heavy rainfall not as much as this this is all getting anywhere from four five to seven inches it's a lot of rainfall coming through tennessee kentucky indiana ohio and eastern michigan as well two separate areas but heavier down here in the south so we have it going all the way from texas all the way to illinois indiana all the way to the carolinas with a big slight risk for flash flooding but your moderate level risk your heaviest flash flooding will be in this red section for today so just be aware texas already endured a pds a flash flood emergency through this and i believe y'all will have the same problems plus our next storm system is ramping up and it has increased as well so as we go through monday this is where we're going to start getting our severe weather from that second system but you can already see the storm system pulling in you can see your dew points raising way up with them 60s going way up with that as that raises up and you're getting a lot of lift at the same time as you're getting that surface low building bringing more chances for thunderstorms to grow so i will keep you updated so far it's looking like a big threat for monday as well and it has ramped up like i said i said this was going to grow look how much bigger it has gotten plus you have an enhanced section a 30 percent chance so here's your cities and states at risk so far for monday for that next storm system i hope this has helped y'all today please take cautions for today i, I tried speaking slower so you can digest the information all that fast talking and getting people ramped up and impulsing them that's very dangerous people make mistakes when they do that people can't think clearly so think about what you're doing if you go outside today make sure what your plan is and be aware of the weather please now before you go real quick proverbs 22 8 through 11. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yes, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips the king shall be his friend. Amen. I hope you all have a great day today. I will update you this afternoon. Make sure you have the bell clicked. And as always, make sure you check on your pets. If the hail damage comes through, if the flooding comes through, them being tied down or in any way distrained from being in the safety, that's not good. Please check on your pets. Please check on your neighbors. That's the best thing you can do is be a best friend to your neighbor so they can do it for you as well. Always take care of others, everybody. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe, you and your family, and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Well, it was kind of loud for some of you this morning. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy and I can't wait for that day.
God bless you all and keep you safe.